Hey ladies and gents, welcome to another Pro Evolution Soccer 2020 tutorial with your host Spoonie Pizzas. Today I'm going, we're going to be looking at shielding the ball and how to shield it stationary and also how to shield it whilst moving as you're seeing in this clip. And this footage was captured on Legend Difficulty. To shield the ball while stationary, don't press a single button on your controller. Just make sure your player is facing away from your opponent. Okay, so to shield the ball, all you need to do is literally touch nothing on your controller. You can see here, it begins to shield the ball, but he's fouled because he's double tapped X. So here it is in slow motion. So I play the ball into my player. You can see there's controller in the bottom right corner. No buttons pressed and he automatically begins to shield the ball because his backs to my opponent. Now what we want to do is shield the ball from our opponent but whilst moving the ball. And to do this, it's fairly straightforward. First thing you need to do is stay stationary so your their player gets really close to your player and then it's very, very slight movement with the left stick. Make sure you do not apply sprint otherwise you're going to lose the ball and you'll no longer be able to shield it. But it's very, very subtle movements with the left hand stick, but make sure that you pin them first to yourself. There's a few people out there that say use the left bumper or left trigger. That is a load of BS. Don't listen to those guys. Honestly, it makes no difference. Just use the left hand stick as I'm doing here. Just make sure you get your opponent tight to you first before you start the moving of the ball. The key to shielding the ball effectively is to use slight movements just keep moving the ball every so often and depending where his player goes is the way you want to turn so you can see here he's moving around the side of me so i'm used just positioning the ball the other side and then he gets sort of stuck behind me and again you can sort of see him creeping around the side now so again just touch it away before he can get his foot around to try and win the ball you want to be just turning away from your opponent. So here we are in slow motion. Now watch how I deliberately let the player close the distance on me and let him stick to me first before I start using the left hand stick. So that player just shook off. But as this player comes in, as soon as I feel that engagement, now I can start moving the ball. Whichever way he goes, I'm going in the opposite direction. I let him run around me and then once you've got the direction you want to go then you can start applying the sprint so you can see here I'm starting to push away from him now but he's starting to get around the back of me so again let go of the sprint and move the left arm stick now the most effective skill comes in really handy when shielding the ball if you haven't seen that video go and check it out it is called the most effective skill video which I'm using here to shield so in this play, what I'm doing is using the shielding to protect the ball to allow my teammates to get up and support. So what I'm using here is the most effective skill from the most effective skill video. It's basically the body feint. So, so just facing away, use the body feint to sort of shake them off as they close in. Just don't touch your analog sticks too much, but just again, use the most effective skill there and that means I've taken two players out of the play now and allows me to spin and play my player in so I ball over the top using super cancel to position my player perfectly where I want the ball to take the ball so I've moved over to the right to take the ball to the left and then I'm going to be using the most effective skill so watch the left analog stick a little quick little half flick to the right pushing away now and then I'll be using the most effective skill again there so again a little double double feint then I'm going to just turn and lay the ball back you can also shield off goal kicks as well so if you take a goal kick and you can just literally push the left arm stick into the defender so what you can do is use the shield from long goal kicks up to your striker. Just keep pushing the left arm stick into the defender. And then at the last second, you want to choose your direction you want to move the ball in. 
So with a goal kick, I recommend using the high goal kick. So you just press the R2 and your lob pass button and that will kick the ball really high and this will give you a chance to push your opponent backwards. Fortunately in this instance I'm being swarmed by two players so I'm going to lose the ball but it's really good if you can pull this off. It's also a useful tool defensively as well in combination with the most effective skill. Also using shielding when defending is really good as well. So you can see here I win the ball back by getting my body in between Aguero and the ball. And then just use the most effective skill in combination with shielding. So you're always like shielding the way the ball away from the striker, allowing you to play it out rather than just sort of panic and clear it and give the opposition the ball. So in the slow mo you're gonna be able to see the controls easier. You can see I'm using Super Council there. I pretty much use that ninety percent of the game you probably figured out. And then watch me release the left arm stick before doing the most effective skill and moving away from Aguero and the danger. It's a good way to clear the ball and shield it. Now here's one final clip here where you're just going to see me hold off two players using exactly the same sort of method. No left bumper, no left trigger. So a good use of shielding here to run down the line with a big, tall, powerful striker such as Dennis. Holding off silver with these. And just turning, just as, like I said, just as they get past you, as soon as they get to the ball side, you just want to just turn and then protect the ball again. So one final clip, and probably the best clip as well, put together. So you can see here, Dennis picks up the ball. As soon as I feel that arm come out, then I can just gently use the left arm stick just to shield the ball, let the left arm stick go, then re-engage it, then let it go, then re-engage it. And that's how you get this. That's how you get him to do the ball roll. So you just, it's all contextual. So it's because Depends where the player is. You get a little bit lucky there to be fair. Then I apply the sprint. And then I'm using the ball roll. And as soon as they're the other side of me, the wrong side of my, you know, the ball side, then just turn away. This concludes the end of this tutorial. I hope you found that useful. If you did, don't forget to overhead kick that like button. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye bye.